Tracy is willing to call off the malpractice suit. Oh, and what should I do? Just forget and forgive the fact that you forged my husband's will? Monica, I've had three close brushes with death recently. I now know what hell looks like. It's normal family life. It's a house and more. Check the patient charts. Show that I'm still involved. Still on my game. Everything that they call the American dream. Now, what I love, what I've lived for, these things are now out of my reach. They're like in a shop window, and I'm the guy outside with my nose pressed against the glass. Then, in a minute, I can go to the supply room, and I can have a drink. Punishment you could possibly devise. Monica Tracy misses her family. With her boys gone, she's only got you and Edward left. She doesn't want to waste time. You know, not being together. She said that? Yes, she did. Can you meet her halfway? Tracy is willing to take the first step. The hell I am! <laughs> oh, you rotten con artist. And as for you, if you cannot afford a motel room, then just go sleep in your car. What? This business of pretending you're here on hospital business and sleeping on the sofa in the boardroom, well, I have called security. You can't order a paperclip. You're on suspension. Which begs the question, what are you doing here? Pass out in the on-call room again? Uh, pumpkin. What are you hiding? Besides the fact that you were driving drunk and you hit public property with your car. I think maybe we should go have some lunch. You... My car was stolen. That's such a lie, Monica. And if the police test the alcohol on the front seat of the car, they're going to find out it's your favorite vodka. Well, so much for trying to pull your butt out of the fire. My butt doesn't need help from you. What? Can I, can I just talk to you for a Look, minute? I'm fine. Okay, I, I know. Your car was stolen. The same night Sam was a victim of a hit and run. You reported your car stolen not far from her. Sam was hit, and I just, I heard Tracy just... Oh, now. yes, well, the whole hospital heard Tracy. That's her point. She's made a vested interest in making me look bad around here because I threw her out of the house, and I had her assets I'm just, I'm just asking because I don't want to see an innocent person take the blame. What, you think I hit Sam? Did you? You know, that would be almost laughable if it wasn't insulting and, and hypocritical. I mean, you talk about morality. You're the one who covers the bodies and hides things, not me. That's, that's not an answer. Well, I'm not going to dignify it with one. I don't, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to see you hurt yourself even more than you already are. Deputy Johnson? Over here. B70 over 40, heart rate's 140, you got diminished breath sounds on the left side. All right, get into cubicle one. All right. Chief of cardiology, and here I am on the sidelines. Thank you very much, Tracy. I'm going to third in the chest tube. Prepper sight. How's her breathing? It's diminished. Okay, let's see. Prep right, Okay. Could use you in there, you know? Well, thank you for saying that. I understand with your daughter's death, it was too soon and still fresh, but you're ready to go. If it was up to me, you'd be in OR with a scalpel in your hand. Thank you. I would be if Tracy wasn't out to get me. Huh? Good. No, to the left. To the left. To the up. Your other left. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it was so great of Campbell's to donate all this hard healthy soup today. I've decided we should keep it to home-style chicken noodle and New England clam chowder today. You know how Helen likes to swipe the cream of mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Okay. So, huh? And okay. thank you again so much for letting us use your restaurant today. No, no problem at all. <laughs> um, excuse me. you say you called your local Go Red organization? We're called Take Heart. Oh. And we've managed to reach out and save so many women. You know, some of us, even hardcore professionals, we just refuse to see what we're doing to ourselves. And for that, we rely on great doctors like yourself. Yeah. Oh. Shall we fit? Yes. 
everyone understands if you don't want to be a part of this luncheon. You've had a hard few months. And you always contribute so much to this group, especially considering you're the youngest member. PJ would be very proud. Well, the Go Red campaign for heart health awareness and heart disease prevention is really based on you people. You survivors, you women who are willing to talk about it to, to friends, to family, hopefully we'll reduce the risk of this disease and prevent the heartbreak that comes with it. We should begin in our usual way by introducing ourselves. My name is Debbie and I'm 49 and I had a heart attack last year. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm 29 and I had patent ductus arteriosus. I'm Suzanne. I'm ageless, <laughs> and I had aortic graft repair and mitral valve repair. I'm Maria, and when I was 38 years old, and three months after I gave birth to a little baby girl, I had a series of heart attacks. Hi, my name's Evan, and I'm an RN with heart disease. Oh, you must be Epiphany Johnson. We've been waiting for you. Please join us. Somewhere that I can be useful, because I am not into clubs. Go Red for Women is not a club. It's a movement. And anyone who sponsors it or shares in it is saving lives. Basically, it's a wake-up call for women to end an epidemic of ignorance, suffering. Come on, Epiphany, you are a nurse. You know what it's like. You know what kind of a force you are. People look up to you. They're afraid of you. And they'll listen to you. And you can save a life and keep somebody out of a hospital bed. Why does this feel like an intervention to me? Well, because maybe it is. Maybe it's time for you to be aware of just how important you could be. Listen, my friend, we both had breast cancer. We both didn't want anyone to know. We didn't want anyone to see that we were weak because we weren't weak. We got through it because we were strong. And you go in there and show them how strong you are. I'm Epiphany Johnson. And I want to be more than a survivor. I want to be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> 